we were warned not to eat any food from off the street. Not that I had an intention of doing so, but we're not going to do it. I'd like to know what it is though. You can see how Muslim or Islamic it is here at Bachisarai. I think she said this is placed by Catherine the Great or for Catherine the Great. Tells all about it. Makes it very, very easy. You can see the, she refers to it as Khan, referred to as Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Khan's Palace. You may see that it's a very ornate wooden one with not so many stone elements but with a lot of carvings, uh, symbolic colors and elements. This uh, is uh, Alhambra style construction and together with Alhambra and Premier Kapoor, this is one of three places in Europe which have this uh, Asian traces and uh, Asian connections. Here you may see a skin of the Khan's Palace during all the centuries as Bakhchisara existed, so two centuries. We can't pinpoint an exact date of foundation because everyone from the Khans wanted to add something to the palace, to change something and so on. We may only say that in the beginning, in the very beginning of the 16th century, this palace was founded and later on during all 200 of years uh, some new elements were added. We may see also some places colored in white. These are only preserved constructions. The rest were either destroyed by fires or just by time, because we may see that everything is wooden. Also, looking at the scheme, we may justify the name Bakhchisarai, the city in the gardens. There used to be a lot of greenery around, and we may see greenery here right now. We are right now in the ambassador's garden, where ambassadors and official guests used to wait to be allowed to enter the palace and to see the hunt. That's the main gate that the ambassadors would then walk through. As for the palace itself, today we will see the palace with a lot of redecoration and reconstructions. So this is Demir Kapu, or Iron Gates, Main Gates. So that used to be the main entrance to the palace. There is a second name to these gates. They are called Alivis Gates or Alivis Portal by the, by the name of the person who designed them. Actually, these gates uh, date back to the very beginning of the 16th century, leading to the first palace of the Crimean Tatars, which was situated in about two kilometers from here. The first palace was completely wooden, it was fully destroyed by fire, and after that, this new palace was constructed. Girai dynasty was the ruling dynasty of Crimean Khanate. It ruled these uh, areas for 350 years. We may see here 47 Khans, 47 Khans changed in the other on the throne, but all of them belong to this Girai dynasty. Judging by the tree, we may understand that these were not always direct descendants, sometimes they were side branches of the family coming to the throne. Some of them came as a result of coup d'etat. Some Khans uh, were on the throne for several decades, the longest ruling was on this post for 48 years. One time there was a fountain in the center. They used to get fountain. The first official room, which is also named by a Crimean Tatar word. This is a divan room. Divan was something like parliament or cabinet of ministers. Of course, the superior head of the state was the Khan, but he didn't have the right to introduce a new economic policy or to start a war without the consultation of his uh, ministers. They were called Beys, and they were the representatives of the most respected aristocratic Crimean Tatar families. It was a very honorable position, but not paid. So it was, very, it was just very prestigious to be here and discuss something with the Khan. The inscription says, the door of the Khan, a son of Khan Salim Jure. It is really crowded here. <laughs>
Coming into the summer house built at the end of the 17th century. It was rebuilt and painted. Comfortably to read some books to discuss something with days and official representatives. Fans knew usually Koran by heart, could quote some philosophers by heart, and of course to speculate on some political and civil matters. We will see that the majority of the rules in the palace are decorated by fountains. Water was sacred for the Crimean Tatars. In Bakhchisrai there used to be about a hundred of fountains and only twenty of them were in the palace. All fountains which we see today were constructed in the 18th century by the court marble Kata Amer. All of them are marble and all of them are symbolic. This fountain is called Life Stages. The spring at the top symbolizes life itself. The upper layer of springs is the youth period when people are very energetic, they have a lot of plans, they don't know only how to fulfill them. The middle layer is the mature life. The springs used to be more respectful because mature people already know what life is, how to appreciate it and how to reach their goals. And the lower layer are the old age, the elderly people. 